Hey Jane from Gold Breakers here with another tutorial in Portal Knights Creative Mode. Today I'm going to show you how to build another smaller, taller storybook house. And I wanted to take this second to thank all of you guys for watching and subscribing and giving such positive feedback. Really appreciate all your support. It means the world to me. And this video was supposed to come out a lot sooner in the week, but I've been feeling a little bit under the weather. Mentally and physically, so I haven't really been able to crank things out like I've been wanting to this past week and a half or so. But anyway, this is the basic build of the house. So let's get started. I'll show you the floor plan first. You can pause right here, and I hope this was clear enough for you. Sorry if it wasn't, I'll try better next time. It just saved me a little time in the upload process, because this is already almost a 15-14 minute long video. You start with stone block, put your basic outline, you want to leave too wide for the porch kind of stoop area. Use the wood blocks out one from that and make a three by a three doorway. Kind of separates the doorway a little bit, gives you just a little bit more room on the inside. Yeah. Then you continue to use the wood to build your support structures. And I forgot to put one brick before the other wood there, like right there. But whatever, it's okay. It works anyway. You can do it, you don't have to do it. Yeah, get your choice color of concrete block. I wanted light blue because I thought it looked nice uh, brown. And kind of seal off the main walls. And I'm going to go ahead and apologize. I have to keep going back and looking at my previous house. Because I kind of have a memory of a goldfish sometimes. Especially when it's building related anyway. Basically, the left and right walls there are pretty much the same. It's one concrete, one wood, window, one wood, one concrete. And in between those two wood slats, you're going to put a window. And the back wall is one concrete, one wood, two concrete, one wood, one concrete. Now you top all those off with just wood. The first floor is basically done now. Once you've gotten all that wood replaced, I'm just gonna come out and look at it and add these little support structures on the outside. I just fancy it up a little bit. And give you room to expand the top floor, just a skosh. Then you're going to come across all of those slats you just placed and place more wood. Now we're going to start with the front facing wall. Take wood and place two each, I think three tall, then go to the corners, three tall again. I went ahead and got some of my windows and placed them in so I know what I was doing. Place the skinny windows in the middle of that gap you just made there, then you're going to fill all that in with concrete. Well, too high in the concrete. Come back across and line them with wood. Come back from that and just make your wood line to connect all the corners. And it'll be easier to fill in the walls that way. More slats for prettiness and structure. And this wall is two concrete. One wood, window, one wood, two concrete. Now come back. 
back wall is two concrete, one wood, two concrete, and one wood. Two concrete. You could always put a window in one of those concrete gaps if you wanted. With the two wide one, with the skinny one. More structure, support, slats, whatever. And this wall is the same as the other side wall. This next part gave me a little bit of trouble, and I'm sorry if it's a little unclear, but I hope I described it the best I can. Start with the window, the two wide window, place it there, front and back, and you'll frame that with wood. And add one more wood block and concrete in between those two. This is about where my video stopped recording and I had to start a new one. Top that off with wood. Start with a 2x2 two two, and then add one on the side of concrete. And mirror that on the other side. Go to the back wall and do the same. Next is the hardest part, which is the thatch roof, and it's a little finicky in a way. And I had to go back and look real quick to see how I did it on the other one. <laughs> so excuse me, the jump again. It's easiest if you start at the top, build two thatch high, and then go straight back. Then you'll go one to either side of that and place a block straight back. I wish I would have done this in the beginning, but I placed one block on the top of each one of those concretes to look better and to make it a little easier for me to try and build this wonky thatch roof cottage crap thing. Mm. As you can see, I started trying to do that with the thatch and realized my mistake and had to go back and redo it. And there we go, it's all better now. Live and you learn, I guess. Now back to the roofing. Just keep on placing those blocks and going straight back. You'll fix this weird gap area here when you get inside the house in a minute. Don't worry about it, it's all good. Go to the other side and repeat what you just did. And you could feasibly leave the roof just like this, just straight back and all straight lines. But I think it looks better if you kind of go back over it and add pieces here and there, take away some, give it a kind of whoppy sobby kind of thing. It doesn't have to be perfect, that's kind of the point I think of the thatch roof. Just you have shelter, and you're not going to get rained on. The basic roof is on, you're going to add some more aesthetic appeal. Go to that top, and cover up those one wood blocks. Add a little bit to the top here, just to kind of make it look like there's a point coming up and out. And just add little bits here and there come over and protect the rest of the house. It'll look a little more dippy in the corners, like it's sagging there. I'm just kind of following a sort of general line at the top there. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just adding there and there and there. Just to kind of come to a more of a point all the way up to the top. And I do remove a few pieces to kind of make a swoop. I think the roof is kind of my least favorite part just because it gave me so much trouble. <laughs> but I, I like the overall look of it in the end. I said earlier that I've been feeling a little under the weather and those of you who don't usually follow me, hey Jane, on all of my other social stuff don't know that I'm autistic. And I deal with a lot of chronic pain, depression, and anxiety. And that's all been really kind of compounding on me here lately. So I've been trying to keep a positive attitude. And you guys have just been so good for that. I really appreciate all your kindness. 
gaming has always been a really great way for me to cope with all of my issues. And building these houses and making these videos has kind of helped me keep a routine when I'm having a real down time. And I appreciate you guys so much for helping me with that. It's, it's been amazing. This has been a much easier downtime than they have been before. And I just want to say thanks, guys. It's really sweet. Thank you. Something to really help me pull myself out of a funk and to remind myself that it's gonna be okay. So enough sappiness. Let's get back to this funny looking roof. It's all done. Just aim for some kind of roof log structure. It'll be alright. We're gonna do the floor on the insides now. Basically the way I set it up, the, you can just see where your first floor will be. Just leave a gap for the stairs. I'll show you right there. The stairs look better if you do it too wide, but you don't have to. Go on, and you're gonna build some more stairs. And there's another line for the top floor kind of loft area. Easy peasy. And now you fill in those gaps I was talking about earlier. You do it with wood, or you can do it with the concrete. I think I did this one differently than the first house, and anyway, that's alright. It all came out as a sound structure in the end. It would pass code mostly, I think. Maybe. And I goofed a little. I forgot <laughs> one of the stairs. It's alright. There's only one off. Just add a little extra floor here and fix the stairs accordingly. Of course, I guess you could leave it, but I like to take the other one. And now it's rafter time. Top there, because you gotta have your thatch holding on to something. You gotta support that thatch. And I added a few lanterns here because it was getting too dark. You don't actually have to put them there, you can put them wherever you want, but I wanted you to be able to actually see what I was doing in here. I went back and fixed the stairs that I screwed up earlier. I mean, see, it kind of works like you could leave it there if you wanted, but I, I like the look of it better this way. Putting on some finishing touches, some windows I forgot. Almost right. I like a couple more spots up there in the rafters that I went back and redid. And there's pretty much your finished house. You can put whatever you want on the inside. I'm still yet to decorate the inside because I'm so tired after this. Really sucked the energy out, but I'm alright. There's our finished storybook house. Hope you guys liked it. Thank you, Cat, for always being there, and to Sweet Bowling for also always being there. You guys rule. Thank you, Grilled Chicken Man. I forgot to thank you a few videos back, but really appreciate you. Hope you guys all have a wonderful weekend. Bye! Bye.